Let's have a closer look at the DMX modes of the Martin Video Scaptron. Looking into the user manual or on your console, you'll see that this fixture has quite a few different DMX modes. Which mode to use in which application? The first thing to determine is whether you will be using the fixtures directly on DMX from a lighting desk, as shown on the left hand side, or whether you will be using the fixtures with a P3 system controller, as shown on the right hand side. In this application, you can connect DMX from a lighting desk and or video from a media server. If you control the fixtures directly with DMX, as shown on the left hand side, use one of the modes starting with DMX. These modes are pretty self-explaining. If you use the fixture with a P3 system controller, use one of the modes starting with P3. Let's have a closer look at these modes. The first three modes are subtractive modes for which it is mandatory to have a media server connected to the P3 system controller. And then by DMX you can remove intensity and or colors from the video on a fixture by fixture basis via the lighting desk. The P3 hybrid mode allows you to toggle between video and a mix control on a fixture by fixture basis with a dedicated P3 switch channel for maximum flexibility. The last mode, P3 pixel map, does not require a media server to be connected as the fixtures will be driven purely from the mix data sent from the lighting desk. On the P3 you can decide in how many segments each fixture is split.